Hey, how's it going? Dave here, and welcome to the third episode of the David Lovejoy Guitar Podcast. Today, I'm joined by my friend Lewis. Hello. So, how about Lewis? You introduce yourself. Um, hi, I'm I'm Lewis. I'm in a band called Kicking Graves. I know Dave for a couple of years now through playing gigs together and stuff. Um, I play guitar in this band. We're a progressive metal band, and got a new EP coming out soon called Through the Mire. Go check it out. <laughs> awesome. So um, today we're going to be talking about inspiration and how you can get inspiration if you're lacking it as a guitar player. But first, we're going to talk about the podcast sponsor, and that is DistroKid. So if you're looking to get your music on Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, and over 150 different more platforms, then DistroKid has you covered um, for just $19.99 per month. Uh, you can upload unlimited songs and albums, and you get 100% of the royalties. So if you head to my special link, then I'll make the deal even sweeter for you. You'll get 7% off, and that link is distrokid.com forward slash VIP forward slash David Lovejoy. So let's get on with the podcast. So different ways of getting inspiration. Uh, just a quick correction before we get on with that. I think it's $19.99 per year, isn't it? Per year, per year, yeah, yeah. Um, but the website will tell you that when you get on there, so. Yes, so inspiration, yeah. Let's talk about in, uh, how we can gain inspiration when we're not feeling it so much. So the first thing we came up with was going to gigs. So, yeah, like, well, I mean, you know, whenever you're feeling in a big rut and I'm sure people listening to this, you know, if you're guitarists, musicians, or, you know, just anybody that has an interest in, in music, you, you'll find yourself kind of sometimes a bit uninspired and you'll be writing and one day you might have been playing something that's really good and then the next day nothing at all and you're sitting there and this, you might be in a bit of a rut. Um, so to kind of break out of that, sometimes it's quite nice to just like say like slack like sack it all off and just go to see some people playing live music instead of trying to do that kind of thing yourself. Um, and I'll I'll often find that like just by doing that, going and seeing other people performing and playing, that'll be like a massive hit to inspiration. So I'll come like people will finish their gig and I'll come home and I'll be like, man, that was really really cool. I really like what they did at that bit or like usually I'll take something home from like every gig and I'll find that just by going and seeing live music it's like a big pick I don't know about you Dave yeah. do, do you get that? I, I get it yeah so um, I like to just go to random gigs where I don't even know what's happening I'll just go to like uh, my local venue and just see what's going on and like every now and again you just like see this amazing performance that's like something you've never heard before and it can inspire you can get like different ideas for your own music even if it's in a completely different genre if you just head head to a random gig sometime um obviously go check out the bands that you, you like and everything mm. but like sometimes going to a random gig can be really cool to do as well oh and that's that's a big thing like you, you just touched upon as well with the um listening to stuff in different genres always always a big one because you know you don't want to kind of if you box yourself in too much and you're just listening to the same stuff all, all the time, playing the same stuff, you'll get kind of, it can get kind of stale a little bit. Like, I mean, it's still always cool. You'll always go back to the stuff that you like, but it's quite nice to just break out and listen to something that you've kind of never think of listening to before. Absolutely. Or going to see people performing music that you never think performing before, like going to, I don't know, I quite like, like dance music and hip hop and stuff like that I don't know is, yeah. that, is that a thing that you I like everything like I, I know that's such a cliche everyone's like oh, I like everything but I genuinely like everything as long as it's done well and like I, and I like it really so like um, there's some genres that I guess I just don't get on with but if something something in, is in one of those genres that piques my interest then what, what, what yeah. kind of genres are you thinking <sighs> oh man I don't know uh like classical like I just I just really? can't I can't vibe with it yeah oh no well, like none well, at all it's weird because my band is like built on like having like a symphonic backing track like um but I, was about to say, don't I don't you, know I, I swear you write like I write orchestral to... stuff but it's yeah. not in the classical style it's no, just to, to fit in with the atmosphere of our music so yeah oh weird no yeah. like I don't know I, I really like classical music it's not something that I would personally 
like listen to all the time but yeah. I, I do like listening to it and there's often like really cool little bits in it sure mm-hmm. I mean if we're talking Schoenberg and like really atonal stuff then yeah go, I'm like, go, go I, I can dig that yeah what yeah. about like kind of just more okay for, for example something virtuosic but like really melodic something a bit like Vivaldi like four seasons everybody knows it it's, but it's got some really like cool fast passages with some interesting rhythmic stuff going on as well that yeah, not- I mean yeah it's cool like if it, if it comes on like then yeah but like I wouldn't choose to listen to it like kind not of there it's not your bop you're not going no. oh man do you know what I really fancy today Vivaldi <laughs> no not at all yeah no, okay, absolutely fair. not but I mean maybe yeah. give it a go you might feel inspired I might inspired. give it a go and I might feel inspired that's the point <laughs> of this podcast right so let's I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna listen to some Vivaldi after this okay. podcast and uh, get inspired cool so um, there's like other ways we can get inspired so we have we've got a little list here um trying out new tunings tunings on your guitar so uh we're actually working on a video together right now on are, yeah. alternate tunings you can use and the different cool things you can do with them um and actually we uh we were listing some of the tunings out and today uh, we did uh, open c minor and yeah yeah as soon as i started playing with it i was just like i couldn't stop i was like oh my god i, I want to write some songs with this right now you had, to, um, you had to ask me to take the guitar away from you just so we can. I literally like, did. I literally be productive. Did. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that's a really amazing way of getting inspired if you're like kind of stuck in a rut. Um, what else? Like just tr- trying different things with your guitar. So like amps, tones. Yeah, like I guess this all ties into to the other stuff, but just trying yeah new new things musically in general, like trying to play in ways with different sounds different pieces of gear that you didn't know like often i mean i mean it's the classic guitarist thing of going out and buying new gear but just getting a new toy a new thing can suddenly be like wow and you get like really it can open things up for you a little yeah bit, yeah, yeah massively yeah. massively yeah. you can get really into something like i'm i'm a digital pedal guy now but for a little bit i was more kind of like analog pedal board have you ever been an analog pedal board guy dave uh i was but i never got on with it never never got yeah, on with it never yeah. got on with it. so you um, didn't have the joy of just going this one new thing saving up and then you get like a new toy that then adds a different element of sound and then suddenly you can create different i've, I've never had that no it's nah, always it's... been like I, ha- I had like i always had multi-effects pedals if i had pedals and they had everything on them that i needed so not... like did, did you ever have that little zoom terrible zoom like ZNX one I can't remember what it's called but I had was it like a di- uh, no was I it? had a Digitech thing uh, oh the one with the, the, the two pedals it was like two, like two left and right left and, then, and right little pedal yeah, and then yeah. oh no the, the Digitech that's like the black and that, the, but those are like plastic they were horrible, feeling horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Look, looking back it was just disgusting Yeah. but do you remember getting it and being like this is the coolest thing yeah, absolutely. I've ever yeah, ever yeah. had 14, 15 year old, yeah. old or however you're old, old there year was old. a harmoniser and I, I was like, oh my god, I sound like Bullet for My Valentine now. Like, oh yeah, oh this is the effect that they use because like I was I was a, I was a beginner at the time, but like so when I heard like harmonized guitars, like I didn't know what it was. I was just I thought it was like a really cool effect. So that this you think it's just one person playing. Yeah, not... you think yeah, you th- I thought it was just one person, and then this pedal that I got had a harmonizer effect. I was like, oh my god, this is how they do it. Oh, they use this pedal when I like, obviously they don't, but like. I got the effect. You, you thought that, and that was it like really again inspired me. So, no, yeah. there you go. You know, yeah. you, you you did have a little thing. New new bits of gear, new I guess. Gear. Yeah, I, I did get a pedal that that opened things up for me. I guess, yeah. Like, yeah, and yeah. I guess well, now in the kind of more digital world of things, you can get it as well. Like, I, I always see the adverts for new like archetype plugins and stuff. Yeah. Do, do you see them? Um, like, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, fair bit. Only ones those yeah. I, I always always makes me want to go and play them and have a little mess around. So, yeah, um, yeah always a sucker for new gear I think that's quite inspiring it is it definitely is because like just having new sounds available can just open up things yeah um obviously try try new guitars out so like big big one yeah so at the moment I've had the same guitar for seven years seven and years I love it but it's the only guitar I've had in the last seven years and it's got humbuckers and I'm just dying to have something with single coils for that twangy sound and yeah, so I'm just. I think I'm the next guitar I have is gonna have at least like one single coil pickup, or I might do yeah. like a humbucker single single uh, configuration. Because uh, yeah, I just love that sound. Yeah. No, I, I'm I'm a big fan. I mean, my guitar 
humbuckers but split coil at the moment so yeah. I, kind of, I quite like having the the ability to just mess around with all the different sounds but I've, I've, you know, I've played purely humbucking guitars before I've played purely single coil guitars before in a mix and every, there is a big difference when you're playing them oh yeah absolutely sounds so it's always quite nice to try so many stuff exactly I've got um I'm borrowing at the moment a PRS from a mm. friend of mine and because my guitar has a pretty f- well it's a fixed bridge this has a tremolo bar so doing that is changing up my sound even more as well um, coming up with new things do you know what I mean so just anything you can do that's new that's and just new changes and just, stuff up a bit just changes things up yeah exactly um, can just change things so yeah there's there's that um, there's one thing we mentioned before uh, the before we started recording and that's I used to have an inspiration folder oh yes yeah, yeah, yeah. and I don't really have one now um, but I used to just put songs on my computer what was that it's pop yeah, it was a, yeah a really loud pop I'm gonna have to edit that out okay <laughs> so yeah I used to put songs in there I used to put photos in there videos anything that inspired me pictures of yourself in the mirror that as well in- just like just lifting my shirt up <laughs> yeah just looking at my abs um yeah, so like anything you can put into maybe a folder, like when you're not feeling very inspired, and then just come back and you can reignite those feelings of inspirations yeah. that inspiration that you had. Um, it doesn't work as well as like that, the kind of like organic, like when you listen to a song for the first time, but you can still remember those feelings you might have had when you listened to it for the first time and, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Like and the records that really inspired you songs that really inspired you like listening back to them no matter how many times you listen to them admittedly if you listen to them like 20 times in a row by the 20th time you might be like oh, okay it's, it's, all magic's gone now but yeah, yeah, like yeah. if you don't listen to it for a little while and you go back and you, you give it a listen you can kind of recapture some you of that you feel magic. a bit of the spark yeah, again yeah. don't you and yeah. it can be like oh wow well, no, that's really cool and I, I forgot how much I love this little bit or something like that and then absolutely go yeah. away and suddenly there it is got the inspiration back yeah exactly yeah right, so that's yeah yeah it's really good so like we we talked about like the inspiration folder and that i like, put like photos and videos and stuff so like there's things outside of music that can give us inspiration for music a isn't lot it? yeah so i mean like i'm a massive wrestling fan and like just like wrestling is my favorite thing in the world and it like gives me inspiration whenever i watch it um whenever i see a great wrestling match like Sometimes I might want to recreate the story in my music of that wrestling match or like just like seeing someone like who I've been like behind for like the last like three years win a championship. Like the joy I feel in that moment, I just want to kind of like pull it onto like into a song or something like so uh, there's there's things like anything you're interested in outside of music can be a source of inspiration for your music. Com- completely but I just think that's really cool because for me I'm not a wrestling fan at all yeah. so that's like I don't know it's such a strange kind of thought of being like wow wrestling being really inspired by that but it just yeah. you know it goes to show that whatever you're into yeah. if it is external like you were just saying you know you can go away and especially if it's something that you're following for a long time like you're yeah. saying and kind of I imagine people that follow football probably get it a little they bit. They probably get, yeah, when, when their team wins, like, or when they've had, like, been relegated or something, then they can put that, like, that feeling, kind of, of feeling of, like, tragic loss into, like, something a sad can, song or channel something. Channel it, yeah. Yeah, just channel it, yeah. It's healthy to do it as well. It like, is, and I mean, I guess people do it all the time with things like breakups and relationships exactly. like that. Exactly, yeah. so why not do it with other things that are important to you? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, there's that, and, like, I mean, like, video games, movies... Both, both big things um, yeah I, I, i'm big big video game well not not on like modern video games but i like have my select few that i like playing and whenever i play them i'll kind of feel quite inspired afterwards yeah yeah, yeah. uh i like the feeling of a uh, nostalgia playing an old game and like yeah. just trying to re like kindle that in a in a song or something um also books and also like i like going out and, like just going out in nature and like clearing my mind and uh just trying to like absorb all of it and like well I, I yeah like when you're kind of living the day to day life and you're doing kind of all the normal stuff that people as adults have to do to kind of yeah. survive earning money working jobs and stuff like that it can kind of bog you down a little bit so when you're at home you don't want to pick up the guitar you don't don't want to play write music you just kind of just want to 
not do anything and mm. I find that that's like really unhelpful to the inspiration and I always find that by going out into nature it can be like a little reset almost yeah you go out you go for a nice countryside walk you go for a walk by the sea something like that kind of you get back and you're like ah it's yeah like a, kind of a, a sigh of relief that then be, that kind of relaxation and yeah no I feel you on that yeah awesome uh, I uh, you reminded me of something just then when you said uh, like at the end of your day like you kind of just don't want to pick up your guitar I find like whenever I write songs or I practice guitar I I try now to do it first thing in the morning oh, because really? like yeah like you're, you've like kind of just come out of like your dream dreaming state and you're like in a, one you've got a lot of motivation and willpower because you haven't Start been like day, yeah. beaten down by the day and you're just at your most creative at the beginning of the day so like first thing when I wake up like I just pick up my guitar and just jam with it and yeah I get like my most creative ideas like like either end of the day like so I don't get it in the middle of the day in the afternoon or anything but if it gets really late at night where I should be sleeping that's yeah I get some really creative ideas there or just first thing in the morning when I've woken up well I often find that that's also a reason that I stay up late sometimes or I have yeah. done is that like if you'll be on a good idea and it'll like you just keep going keep, yeah, keep yeah. You going yeah. so sometimes lack of sleep is a good thing yes yeah but, uh, but m- most of the time not but like yeah, yeah, stay, yeah stay sometimes well it can be yeah exactly um, so is there anything else we talked about there was uh, hanging around inspiring people there is yeah. yeah yeah so I mean that was just one we came up with quickly we don't I, I, I don't really have much to say about it really nah like all my friends are boring and rubbish. <laughs> nah, they're not. Um, but like, if you if you're hanging around people that you don't feel that push you, it doesn't have to be specifically to do with music. Cause I think it all kind of links in together. Like, if you're feeling inspired in general, you're gonna feel inspired probably with like a lot of things that are going on in in your life, and it'll kind of have this cool domino effect or like knock on yeah. effect where if you kind snowballs. of snowballs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you you start doing one thing that's inspiring you in some way and then it'll kind of trickle into something else and then you'll kind of just suddenly have loads of inspiration for everything um and a lot of that can come from like hanging around with people that are doing things that are inspiring in their own way so like it doesn't have to be you know we we're both musicians we're both guitarists we do that but you know i've got friends that are working very different jobs and they'll be doing stuff within within that job or doing stuff in their free time I'm like wow that's really cool mm. and it'll make me want to go out and do something similar um, and just by hanging around with them and hearing them talk about what they're doing and being inspired about certain things it kind of pushes me to be inspired in different ways but yeah, then yeah. like could help push you back with that so just hanging around inspired people yes I think is actually another thing that, definitely that they don't have to be super inspiring themselves but if they're inspired it makes them inspiring yeah yeah absolutely so you've just reminded me um, shout out to Galen Stapley I don't know if you've ever talked I've, to him I've had a couple of about guitar Galen. stuff but his intense enthusiasm for playing guitar just rubs off on you just like just five minutes of talking to him like and then we need more of them people we yeah. do. He seems he seems like such a nice guy. He's also yeah. such a monster of a player. Like it's just, it's just ridiculous. Like, you shouldn't be allowed to be unreal. that kid. <laughs> no, no, you shouldn't. Yeah. You shouldn't yeah. be that kid. Yeah. So shout out Galen Stapley or uh, well, inspiring as, lots of people. He plays in a band called Azure as well as yes. some other things. I think he's in Slice the Cake. Slice right? the Cake yeah, as yeah, well. Cake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Cool. So anything else that we can talk about? Hmm. Trying to write with other instruments. Yeah, this would be a nice way to round things off. Yeah. Um, yeah, it would, it would be good. So maybe you're writing something on guitar and it's not really working out. Maybe just try switching to a piano or something. I found that like doing that has like instantly made the idea from a bad idea into like a really cool idea. Um, like obviously, if you're not a multi instrumentalist, you can just write it out in Guitar Pro. And then just change the instrument to hear hear it differently. Exactly. Um, if you've got access to a, a computer as well, there's loads of free softwares. If you've got a, a door, like um, Reaper, is a is a one that gives you a sixty day free trial. And <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what are you laughing at, Dave? I don't know what what, the sixty day free trial. Six, sixty day free trial. Yeah. It's a sixty day free that's, trial. That's and pretty then cool, actually. After yeah. that, 
you can't keep using it um, but you can get some really cool I think there's some built in synth sounds and like, but you can get some free quite nice sounding piano things that you can play using your keyboard Yeah. Um, to just kind of mess around with ideas and I, I find that's quite an, like fun and inspiring thing to do like you're saying you play a little guitar thing and then you can kind of change the instrument that it's on onto piano or, or you can do the guitar pro route yeah yeah or tux guitar exactly yeah yeah I find actually um, not having my guitar in my hands sometimes is better than actually writing with my guitar mm. sometimes I c I'll just think up a song and instead of playing it I'll just write it out in tux guitar or guitar pro uh, and yeah it can you can write a song like that also like I, I, I try writing songs differently each time so I'll start with drums one time or I'll start with a bass line another time um rather than just trying to write with the guitar all the time thinking about the other instruments as well can be a, a, good, a good way of doing things because a lot of the time guitarists are the people who write the songs for their bands like yeah. I don't want to like just kind of like write off all other instrumentalists but like generally like a lot of the time it's it the, is the, it's guitarist, the guitarist right so for, for the most part yeah, I would say yeah. it's the guitarist so yeah so just just tr I guess the, the, the summary of this is just try as many different things as possible really if you're looking for inspiration things that are new that have, you've not done before mm. um, do you have anything to add to that? Um, kind of continuing that same theme just going back to the, the instrumental mm. thing is learning how drums work like very That's basic important. drum, yeah, drum yeah. program or something like that because it kind of when I, when I used to write music and I don't know about you you kind of just write something but it wouldn't have any kind of sense of working in a song and knowing how that works and so it would kind of really kill inspiration when it got to any kind of actually making it into a song you'd just be like oh I've written a cool thing and yeah. I want to play it but it doesn't work coherently when you've got other instruments going um, and a, probably the biggest one that will change how anything that you write sounds is drums absolutely um, and so I find if you can get like work, learn about what makes a groove good and how you're kind of it doesn't have to be super groovy. You can write some like really intense technical drum stuff as well. But like learning how people can play drums and what works and what doesn't work can really kind of play off the music that you're writing and then inspire you. Absolutely. As, as a consequence. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I find that like you can play this exact same thing on guitar and have two different drum beats and there'll be two different genres because of the way the drums are played. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so like drums are like such an important part of like any song. So learning, like you said, how to write drums is, is really important. And also then once you know how to write basic drum parts, then like learning how to like do half time, like to kind of make, like if you're playing a metal riff, like in your like, it's like, tap, 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 the riff itself, like the guitars can sound heavier just by the drums going half time. Yeah. Um, and also like programming like ghost notes and stuff like knowing where like good places to put ghost notes are in um, can just make all the difference to a song right completely and drums are like if you ever want a, a song to sound different just change the drums just like, exactly that's, that's the, yeah, yeah. The, the biggest thing you can change so much of how a song is just by changing the drums yeah um, I'm actually like leading on from this I have sort of one other thing that we, we haven't really even talked about mm. um, we, we kind of touched upon it actually with hanging around inspiring people but playing music with other people yeah that's yeah the, why have we not that, why have we not thought <laughs> talking about that that's yeah. like such an inspiring thing you can mm. be sitting on your own at home playing something and you know not getting anywhere with it and go hang out with some other people and then as soon as you hear their input on it or just by trying to play it to them or playing with them something completely unrelated you can feel really inspired mm. to then I don't know just feed off the energy that you get in from that and absolutely Go bouncing on. ideas off each other completely like yeah. some of the most like the best memories I've got from like making music have been like when I've just had a riff heard it one way in my head but the bass players heard it differently and it's just played like a crazy funky bass line over it and I'm like oh my god I, I was expecting it to be a smooth chill, chilled out song but this works so much better and like then like a drummer adding something else in that you don't expect and it just it works when, when someone takes your idea that you thought was good and makes it better and yeah, different yeah, yeah. that is a really really cool feeling absolutely uh, and it's, it's, it's inspiring it is inspiring so you go wow and then you're suddenly really enthusiastic about it exactly and, and you just want to keep doing it yeah so, yeah. yeah so 
play with other people. That's, there you go. That's a big. That's a very big one. Very big one. Yeah. And I kind of feel like an idiot for not thinking yeah, about we, earlier. We kind of saved the best for last, <laughs> yeah. there, didn't we? Yeah. Um, that's not a bad thing. It will, it will reward the listeners who have stayed until now. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think that's about everything that we can think of. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. I think we've we've done pretty well. Awesome. So. Cheers for coming on the podcast, mate. No, thank I th- it's you. been fun. We should do more of thank these. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd love to. I'm looking forward to finishing off our little video. Yeah. If you're uh, on YouTube right now, uh, let us know if you want uh, Lewis on more podcasts. <laughs> uh, that'll be uh, that'll be good. Uh, so, yeah. Um, keep an eye out for our video, which we will be putting out very soon. It's on alternate tunings and how you can kind of curb writer's block with different tunings. Um, and we'll catch you in another one. See you later. See you.